Yes, thank you for joining the Rescale and Mecca webinar. Um, find Turbo and Find Marine on the cloud with Rescale. Um, I'm Mika Peggers, the Product Marketing Manager uh, at Rescale. And joining me today is Leonto Port, our VP of Engineering, and uh, Alan Debelinier, Managing Director with Numeca. Okay, so here is our agenda for today. I'll start with a quick overview of the Rescale platform and the partnership we have with Numeca. I'll then be passing it over to Alan, who will introduce Fine Turbo and Fine Marine and highlight the on-demand licensing option we have through Rescale. He'll also explain the model we'll be looking at today. Leandro will then take over and go through a live demonstration showing up how to set up, run, monitor, and post-process your fine turbo simulations on the Rescale platform. And finally, we will end with some time for, for questions. All right, so let's get started. Um, what is Rescale? Uh, Rescale provides a comprehensive cloud high-performance computing platform for running simulations. There are several key elements to the Rescale platform. The first is an intuitive interface that enables engineers and scientists to set up and execute different types of simulations with an easy-to-use workflow. The next component is software. We support a wide range of over 180 different software packages that are pre-installed and tested so that our users have one unified platform to execute all of their simulation work. The next key feature of the Rescale platform is our range of hardware. Rescale is a multi-cloud solution. We partner with several in infrastructure providers globally, accessing over 36 data centers worldwide, and allowing our users to leverage a wide range of different types of hardware, including specialty hardware such as infant abandoned GPUs. As I mentioned, and as Leanta will soon demonstrate, Rescale's platform is straightforward and simple to use. Users can monitor their simulations and results in real time, and can do pre- and post-processing directly on the platform with using our desktop feature. In terms of security, it's our top priority at Rescale, and we have many built-in security features on the platform, which I'll come back to shortly. And with our enterprise solution, we also have an administration portal to add yet another layer of security to the platform. It allows IT and management to manage and monitor usage and set additional budgets, permissions, and controls for users within their company. We can also integrate the platform with existing on-premise hardware so IT and management can have transparency and control over all resources being used across the entire company. Now, as I mentioned, Retail is a multi-cloud environment, and this uh, span of infrastructure partners enables us to offer a wide selection of different hardware configurations to our users. In addition to 36 data centers, we also have five distinct platforms. We have two platforms in the United States, one, one of these being for ITAR controlled work only, and we also have dedicated platforms in Europe, Japan, and South Korea. These dedicated platforms are for users requiring that their data stay within one geographic region. As I mentioned, security is paramount at Rescale. We go to great lengths and have many measures in place to ensure that the platform is secure and that our users' information is protected at every step. We go through several in-depth processes, including audits to meet strict security compliance, compliance, and regulation requirements. One of the key security features we put in place is encryption. Uh, retail users' data is encrypted both in transit and at rest. And when simulations are running, they're run on isolated encrypted clusters. If you want more of a detailed security review, we can happy, we're happy to schedule this with you after the webinar. Now, Numeca and Retail formed a partnership back in 2014. Um, this partnership has enabled both existing and new Fine Turbo and Fine Marine customers to, to both run their local licenses on Rescale and since um, earlier this year to purchase on demand licenses directly on the Rescale platform, allowing them to instantly scale out their work. As Eliyanto will show, um, in addition to our straightforward workflow to execute simulations, we also have our desktop feature available for pre and post processing that allows users to open up uh, remote desktop to visualize their results directly on the platform. We also have customized workflows available, including a DOA framework. And uh, finally, should you run any issues while working on the platform, 
We have a strong support team of cloud and CAE experts who are available to live chat and help with any issues that you may run into. Okay, now I will pass it over to Alan to introduce Numeca and their software. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, while you're in, okay. Uh. Thanks everyone for joining. I uh, hope you're seeing my presentation now, going to full screen. So my name is Alain Demelena, so I've been working for Numeca for uh, quite a while. Uh, actually, we've been, uh, we've been around for about 20 years. Uh, so we're, we're excited to work now with Rescale, you know, giving, giving the opportunity to, say, everyone, and not only large companies, to do large runs. Uh, so that's the that's the good thing about having now the cloud providers available. Uh, you can do all sorts of runs, uh, so everything is becoming possible. Um, so I mean, at Numeca, we've been developing CFD for, as I said, 20 years. You know, we we do everything in CFD from meshing, solving, post processing. I'll come back to that a little bit more. Um, I mean, we were created in Brussels, Belgium. And now we have offices around. I mean, you make up today is about 120 people. Uh, and you know, the I mean, the strategy we have always followed is to focus on some application areas with the ambition of being the best in those areas. You know, as opposed to you know developing uh, you know um, a general platform, it's it's really to to answer the specific requirements of those different markets. Uh, the two big ones for Numeca are turbo machinery and marine, uh, and we have two specific products for that. And uh, you know, these are the products that can now be used uh, under the Rescale platform. Um, so yeah, here, so this slide shows you the products. Uh, on the right side, this is our series of meshing systems. Uh, actually, all the meshing software of Numeca have been have become quite successful uh, the last few years, and not only to our users, I mean, our solver users, I mean, but also for pre-processing uh, for other solvers. Uh, it looks like, uh, I mean, the, the solution we have for turbo machinery meshing with autograde and then with unstructured meshing with Hexpress, clearly, uh, I mean, of course, I'm not the most objective, but we believe, we believe we have a clear edge compared to other solutions, and that's why uh, we're we have more and more users of those. Uh, I think today, AutoGrid, on, or just AutoGrid has more than 2,000 users uh, as of today. Uh, on the left side, you see the different products I was mentioning. So Fine Turbo is the environment for turbo machinery. It's based on multi-block structured meshes. Then we have two different unstructured solvers, one for compressible application and one for uh, incompressible, that's Fine Marine, which is specific for free surface problems and things like that. Uh, I mean, especially in the marine, uh, I mean, the problems that are solved are typically very challenging. And if you think of what could be done a few years ago with the resources that were available, we could almost say that these types of runs were not a joke, but say, I mean, diff it was difficult to ensure accuracy. And now with, uh, with the computer resources that are available, we, we really get uh, a high confidence in the runs we can do with, with solvers like that. Uh, <clears throat> so just to mention, I mean, that's something recent we have announced. Uh, you know, in turbo machinery, Numeca is known for you know, being the, the specialist, <coughs> excuse me, for CFD for turbo machinery. What we didn't have is pre-designed tools. And we actually uh, worked with uh, with Concepts now, which I think is recognized as the number one provider for pre-designed tools for turbo machinery. So, I mean, Numeca and Concepts, we be we believe the this is a strong partnership with, which will help us a lot. Uh, so, mentioning the meshes, so the the Numeca is always focusing on generating hexahedral meshes. So that's a big difference we have compared to other CFD providers. Uh, I mean, hexahedra, it's known. These are 
the best elements for doing CFD. Uh, and it's just that it's more difficult to generate mesh, to, to develop mesh generators like that. It took us a while, but now we believe we have succeeded, and this is why we get so much success uh, with Hexpress today. Uh, a few words about Fine Turbo. I mean, a, a, a big development that you know helped developing the, you know the reputation of Numeca is is for unsteady modeling. Now, if you want to have to, to, to solve uh, turbo machinery unsteady, I mean, one way to do that is to mesh everything 360 degrees and progress in time and wait for convergence. And this can be done. That's the classical way. Uh, uh, another way is to solve the unsteady flow in the frequency space. Uh, so that's the main idea behind the so-called NLH, which stands for nonlinear harmonic methodology. And there are many applications we're, we're working on with that. I won't go into the details of that today, but just wanted to mention it. Uh, and so here, this is an example of unsteady runs. You see on the left, this is a full unsteady run, which takes about two weeks. And on the, on the right, this is NLH with just a few hours. Um, and you know, we, we can do things like fluid structure interactions and, and things like this. So this is all incorporated in Fine Turbo. Uh, so fine turbo can be used for big runs. Uh, we're we're ready for that. You see an example here of a run with four billion cells. So don't be afraid. That's why I put these slides here. This is a validation test case we have published, uh, and it can also be used for optimization. And so uh, optimization is not necessarily a big run. I mean, here I'm putting an example of a, uh, an optimization we've done for Ford on a compressor. I mean, every single run is not that big, and you could say you don't need a platform like Rescale to do that. But when you do optimization, uh, you actually end up doing a lot of analysis. Uh, for that project here, it was 600 3D Navier-Stokes analysis on the 6 million cells. Uh, so if you calculate the time you need, so imagine you would have 96 scores at home. Uh, which is not that bad. Personally, I don't have that. Uh, you would already need a, eight days. But of course, if you can rely on, on an external provider uh, like, like Rescale, you can book a few hundreds of cores, uh, and in a few days, your projects will be done. And this is how optimization is becoming possible. Uh, and so that's that's what I wanted to mention here about it. So. I don't see cloud provider necessarily for doing huge runs. It's also for this type of project, uh, which you don't want to see last more than more than a few days. Uh, just a few words about Fine Marine. Uh, so Fine Marine has got, I think, now a, a big name in the CFD community around uh, all types of marine-related problem. So we have a mesh generator Hexpress, which generate 100% hex. Uh, followed by our flow solver and our post processor. Uh, so we're doing, I mean, we have many partners uh, with Marine. Uh, Oracle, for instance, is, is using Fine Marine very intensively. Uh, here, this is an example of a very recent run. Uh, so this is a development we've introduced called Overset, when you have, can have two overlapping meshes, which helps when you have, for instance, here two elements who are connected. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Right. Oh, there you go. So when you have two elements that are connected, uh, like, like it's the case here, you have the main hull and you have the little element behind, which is connected. So here, this is a type of run which takes a few days uh, on several dozens of cores uh, because of the waves that are modeled. It takes time to, uh, to establish that. Uh, so this is one an example of a cool thing you could do uh, using the cloud provider. Uh, okay, uh, you know, just to summarize, so we was mentioning the different uh, products insisted on for turbo machinery design optimization and steady flows, uh, and uh, well, I, I, I think that's it. Uh, I'll let me hand over the. Uh, there we go. Let me. So I'll stop sharing my screen and hand over the presentation to Rescale, I guess. Uh, um, uh, 
Sorry, one second. Just passing it over to Muyanto. Okay, all yours, Muyanto. Thank you, Anna Rita. <coughs> I, I, I'm going to show a quick demo of how to run a uh, Numeca Fine Turbo on Rescale. Um, got a prepared model. Um, so before I start this uh, Rescale, um, I'll show you what the input looks like. So before you uh, start on your job, you have to prepare input. These are input files at the mesh and my input file here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, compress these into a um, zip file. And I will use this, uh, this zip file as my uh, input file to my job. All right, so let's go to Reskill next. I'm going to log into our global platform, which is located at platform.reskill.com. As Mika mentioned before, we have uh, uh, platforms in different locations around the world, including Europe and Japan. Uh, we support, uh, for security reasons, both multi-factor authentication as well as single sign-on. I'm going to log into uh, Rescale now is my username and password. And once I'm logged in, I'll, I'll go to my jobs list page. It shows you all uh, jobs that you've previously run and, I, and are currently running. Uh, here you can also organize your jobs in directories. For example, um, I can uh, Create a new folder here, for example, called tests. And then I can move of my jobs into that, that folder. On the top bar, we have uh, four options here. Uh, one is to uh, start a new job. One is the jobs list. Uh, which we are right now, on right now. Uh, the third one is uh, desktops, which is uh, our post-processing solution for uh, remote visualization. Um, and then lastly is uh, our files management uh, area. And then on the top right here, uh, we have a transfer status window. Uh, we're not uploading any files right now, so that is empty right now. And then our localization options, uh, our platform supports Japanese, Chinese, and Korean languages as well. And then lastly, uh, the top right, we have uh, our account and settings pages. So I'm next going to uh, you know, start showing you how to set up the uh, Find Turbo job. So I'm going to go to New Job here in the top left. And I will be presented with the uh, with the uh, setup page for for a new job. Uh, the first thing I want to do is give the job a name. And then I want to upload my input files. So I I just created the zip file that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. and upload it to Rescale. In the top right, you can see the progress of the upload. Uh, but while it's uploaded, uploading, we can continue setting up our job. So next, I'm going to select the software that we're going to run. I'm going to click Software here at the top. And then I'm going to search or find Turbo. And like you see here, we both have Find Marine and Find Turbo available. Uh, for this demo, I will show you how to use Find Turbo. And here we can uh, specify, here we can set up the software once you've selected Find Turbo. Uh, I first need to specify the version that I want to use. I'm going to use version 10.1. And then I'm going to uh, type in the command 
I want to run for uh, for this job. So uh, we've created a wrapper script to make running Fine Turbo easier on Rescale. So we only have to enter in a few um, few, file, few file names here to uh, uh, to uh, specify our command. So uh, dash p is the project name, which is HPCC underscore stage dot IEC. I think. And then the mesh file is underscore mesh slash HPCC mesh one dot IGG. And then the computation index is zero. And then we also provide options for uh, uh, for zipping and archiving uh, useful data. Uh, so uh, in the end, you can download a single file uh, with all your useful data in it, uh, including the solution or troubleshooting data. So I can add dash z solution to put the solution in a zip file, and dash z troubleshooting to put all the troubleshooting information in the zip file. So right now we are uh, we've got our command fully spe uh, specified, and we can go ahead and select a license options. So existing um, fine turbo users can provide their existing license by specifying their license server and selecting provide existing license here in the license options. Alternatively, you can purchase on-demand licensing, uh, which has the pricing here, one dollar per core hour for up to 24 cores, or 24 dollars an hour for more than 24 cores. So now we're all set with the uh, software setup. And the next thing we want to do is uh, set up the post-processing step. So we've Create a post processing step to uh, create an image from the results uh, in batch mode. Uh, and we've got a script to do that. So I'm going to upload that script right now. This is actually a macro for uh, the CFU uh, post processing tool. So I'm going to uh, call CFU 101 to run this macro using CFU. And then I will send the output to a log file. So now we've, we're done setting up the post-processing. And finally, what you want to do is select the hardware that we want to run on. So Rescale supports uh, many different hardware configurations. Um, here's a list of the hardware configurations uh, that uh, are supported by Fine Turbo. Uh, we've, uh, we've got configurations ranging from high compute for Onyx to high memory like gold, which has 15 gigabytes of memory per core. Uh, since uh, since for this demo, I wanna I, I wanna use high compute hardware. I'm going to select Onyx, and I am going to uh, run it on 36 cores in this case. On the right here, you can see an overview of the hardware that you selected. So in my case, I've selected the Onyx core type, which has 60 gigabytes of memory per server and 120 gigabytes total memory for the entire cluster. Uh, that's two, two nodes on the cluster, and it's 18 cores per node. Finally, below it, you can also see a, a price summary. This tells you how much this job is going to cost per hour. So it includes the software and the hardware charges. So once we have set up 
our hardware, uh, we are ready to submit our job. We can go to review. And uh, this gives you a short overview of uh, of the job that you've set up. And so before I go to submit my job, I'll really quickly recap the job setup process. So the first thing we did was upload the input file. Second thing we did was select the software, enter the command to run it, and specifying the license option to use. Uh, then we set up our post-processing to run our post-processing script. And lastly, we, uh, we selected the hardware that you want to run on. So now I'm ready to submit a job. So I'm going to click Submit here in the top right. And this will bring us to the status page. Um, and on the status page, uh, we'll see at the top a Gantt chart that shows you the, the stage of the job that we're in. So the first stage of the job is to validate the job. Here we make sure that uh, we've got access to the licenses. So if you bring your own license, you make sure that we can access uh, those licenses that you have in-house and we make sure that you have enough licenses available. If you have a budget set, we can uh, uh, we, uh, we check whether you have enough budget available to run the job. Uh, and then once the input is validated, uh, we will go ahead and provision the hardware. And this can take anywhere between 1 and 10 minutes, depending on the hardware configuration that you've chosen. In our case, the Onyx hardware type takes about 5 minutes to launch. So it takes about five minutes before the job starts running. While we're waiting for the cluster to launch, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, different options here on the status page. So one thing you can do is share the job with colleagues uh, by clicking the share button here at the top. So for example, I can share this job with Mika. Um, if, if she is interested in seeing this job, I can uh, give her read-only access to this job. So all I have to do is type in her email address and leave a message, and then I can share the job. Now she will get an email sent to her with a link to this job, and she will be able to view the status of the job, um, the results of the job, and the input files of the, of the job. She can also uh, clone the job, which is the next feature that I want to talk about, and that's the cloning feature. And this creates an exact clone of the uh, current job setup. This is very useful if you might want to make slight changes to your job. For example, uh, you want to run this job. Uh, you decided, for example, that this job didn't run fast enough on 36 core, cores, and you want to increase the number of cores. So in this case, all I have to do is go to the hardware setup page or the hardware settings page and increase the number of cores and resubmit my job. And this will uh, submit the exact clone of that job on, uh, seven, on uh, uh, 72 cores. Alternatively, you can change the input files or the post-processing script as well. You can also share your job with Rescale support if you have uh, trouble setting up your job or if you have questions regarding the status of your job. You can give Rescale support read-only access to your job by uh, clicking the share button and then selecting Rescale support uh, in the uh, window here and then clicking, uh, clicking share. This will send an email to our support team and they will get back to you uh, as soon as possible uh, through email. So while we're waiting for these jobs to start, I, uh, I started another job uh, before the webinar uh, so I can show you what it looks like while a job is running. 
So it is a job that I started, and I told the cluster to not shut down at the end of the job. Uh, and this is what it looks like when a job is running. So you can see the job has been running for 30 minutes, and uh, there's this extra part in this, on the status page, which we call the live staling window. This window lets you uh, look at all the files that are currently on the cluster. So on the left here, you see a list of files that are on the cluster itself, including log files uh, and any other output files that are on the cluster. For example, I can look at process output.log and look at uh, the status of, uh, of, uh, of, of the simulation. There's also other log files, so I can, uh, I can filter my list by log files, for example. Uh, and this allows me to look at, for example, at the solver log as well. And you can see that the solver has finished. And you can do this live tailing with any text file that's on the cluster. You can even, if you have image files, uh, you, can, uh, you can live tail image files. Uh, this, this job does not have any image files, so I, I won't be able to live tail them here. Um, so that's what a, a job looks like uh, while it's running. Once the job is done, uh, you can go download uh, the files to your computer. So I'm go I went into a finished job here, and when I click on that job, I'm brought to the uh, output files page, and here I can download one or more of my output files. Uh, I can either download all files, for example, by uh, clicking the download button here at the top right. I can download a single file by going to the file in the files list, and then clicking download next to the file. I want to do a single file. Or I can select a number of files. For example, I want to select those zip files that I created. Um, and I can you know, select these files and then go to Actions and select Down and Select as Files. And uh, that will download the files, uh, both of those files, in one zip archive. And so that is the, uh, a short overview of how to run a, uh, a fine turbo job on Rescale. Uh, we will make this uh, job available on our resources page as long, alongside the recording of, of, uh, of this webinar. And so that concludes my demo of fine turbo on Rescale. Okay, let me just take the screen back. Um, okay, um, well that uh, concludes uh, the presentation portion of our webinar. Um, I just wanted to point out that um, for participants of this webinar, we are offering a $20 uh, credit on Rescale for hardware and a 20-hour fine turbo or fine marine trial license, um, and to get that, You'll just need to email um, sales at rescale.com with the code New Mecca Webinar, and we can get you all set up. Um, it's now time for questions, so if you have any questions, please do um, type them into the questions section of the GoToWebinar. Um, and I will kick things off with a question uh, for Mulyanto. Um, are the latest versions of Fine Turbo and Fine Marine available on Rescale? Yeah, so um, the, the latest version 10.1 is available on Rescale. Um, we make versions available as, as soon uh, as they are released by New Mac. Okay. Um, here's another question. Um, how is your scalability performance? How far do you go in terms of load per core? Um, Alan, why don't you take that one? Oh, uh, yes, thank 
Yeah, so you know that's something we've been uh, I mean we've been working a lot over the last ten years or so. So I think we're, we're we now have yeah scalability results that look pretty good. Uh, I have actually I have a slide. Maybe if I could share my screen again, I could show uh, where we are on yeah. that. I, uh, yeah, one second. I'll make you the presenter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, see what the button is. Oh. oh. There you go. Yeah, so you know, for both Fine Marine and and Fine Turbo, you know, we're I, I was showing in terms of size of runs, you know, we can go we can go very high, and also you know in terms of scalability, you see here results that have been published by Dresser Rand on a cage which is not that big, I mean, 60 million cells, and you can see the performance here. So the 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 the, the black line is the perfect line, and the, the dotted line is is our results. You can see up to 250, it's almost perfect, and then we start deviate. And when you are at 500, you see, I mean, if you divide 60 million by 500, you can see we're getting relatively low. Uh, the other curve is about GPU. We are also doing work on GPU. Uh, I don't think this is installed on Rescale yet, but we're, we're getting there too. Um, so in terms also of load per core, I would say, Typically, we would go. We can even go to slightly lower than fifty thousand, fifty thousand nodes per core. We typically wouldn't go much lower than that. I don't think you could gain a lot then. Um, well, thank you for the question. <laughs> okay, um, got another question here. Um, why do you have different solvers for the different applications, uh, Alan? Uh, well, that's that's. Uh, you know, that's a difference between, you know, the general purpose tools that you have around. I mean, I, I can give it in. They're the most success, I mean, not maybe, I shouldn't say successful, but the most known solver around the world is Fluent, which is a general purpose solution. Uh, but, you know, it's difficult, uh, if, it's difficult to imagine that a general purpose solver would be, would be excellent at everything. It's just not possible. It's not, uh, so, or... Our strategy has been to develop different solvers. Uh, so we are not at the level of research centers where every researcher ha has his own solver for what he does. But I mean, we have one solver that we use for turbo machinery uh, developed for high speed flows. We have another unstructured solver for high speed flows. And then the solver we use for fine marine is a pressure based ghost code, which is designed for incompressible flows and, and free surface problems. Okay, thank you. Um, Alan, one more question for you. Um, there has been recent work on algorithms optimized for data center network architectures as opposed to traditional computational cluster architectures. Is Numeca exploring this for, for their products? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, uh, oh, I can look into that, but uh, no, I'm 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 not aware of, uh, uh, of I'm not aware of that. Uh. Okay. Um, well, it looks like that's all the questions we have. If you have further questions, uh, please please don't hesitate to contact us, and we can answer them offline. Um, thank you again for joining us today for this webinar. As a reminder, uh, we did record this, so it will be available um, online. Uh, oh, sorry, one more question just before we leave. Um, are the harmonic analyses techniques suitable for incompressible flows? Yes, yes it is. Uh, uh, I didn't show, I mean, I didn't want to take too much of a time, but yes, we, it works also for, uh, it's actually currently used uh, a lot for hydraulic applications, uh, turbine, Hydraulic turbines, pumps. Uh, yep, it, it is. Okay. Okay. Well, that let, let's wrap things up then. Thank you again for joining us. Goodbye.